hi everyone uh, I'm continuing my JavaScript tutorial in my previous movies I have uh, seen how you can define variables uh, uh, within function as parameters and how you can declare functions and global or local variables now we will get our discussion out of this function and we will jump on to loops now loops are generally a uh, piece of a code that um, executes repeatedly maybe finite or maybe infinite but infinite is not that much expected uh, maybe for finite time say if we want to execute this statement or these two statements for five times we have two options option one we can copy them and then keep on pasting 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 for five times but it is not a uh, very good idea and it is not at all desired because how long you will keep on pasting so to perform this repetitive work we use loops now I'll be telling you only for loop the very basic one because uh, within JavaScript you don't do some factorial or some power things uh, to calculate just for basic uh, array iteration purpose you use loops I will tell you what those things are in my later movies but uh, I will just discuss only the for loop now to for the for loop first we define a variable that will vary actually uh, and I say and that from there on the for loop goes like this for i equals zero and i equals i less than say six or say five or have a little less value say three and i plus plus and we enclose this two statements within this things so this is the statement for the for first part is the initialization part next part is the testing part and the next part is the incremental or decremental part and they are all separated by a semicolon now uh, what it actually do, uh, does uh, this statement get executed at the first time and it checks the condition with if if this thing satisfies okay I will go inside of it and it also then executes this function now what it actually does first it goes for i0 then it tests then it's okay it is uh, less than 3 so I will increment it 1 and I will go there and this is how the execution keeps on continuing so for the for loop remember the syntax that is the initialization and the condition and the increment or decrement what you want to do so the i value will be 0 1 2 and when it will be 3 the loop will break so the control will get out of here and the function will end so what basically this thing uh, this function do is that it <laughs> gives you the same very message for three times so this type of iterative work we have to do later on so make a foundation theoretical foundation for yourself the for loop uh, and till now uh, with the for loop and the functions and the variable we have covered all almost all the aspects of JavaScript programming so let's load it in the web browser and let's see what it shows and well I love the scripts uh, and as you have expected that those alerts they have appeared for six times total and three times uh, for those two now this is it for it and from the later movies we will be um, showing you that um, the implementive part of the javascript now for up till this movie we have covered almost everything uh, from the core JavaScript path. Uh, thanks you for watching. People who are watching this video, the last one, <laughs> I would recommend them to see the previous ones in the playlist. And um, thanks for watching this one too.